Hello and welcome back to FED Learning. I hope my Angular series is helping you to understand Angular and become proficient. From this video onwards, we are diving into advanced topics and I am happy to cover this subject which one of our viewers requested in the comments. If you would like to discuss a specific topic, please add a comment below and I'll do my best to cover it. Your feedback and engagement are greatly appreciated. And if you find my videos helpful, please like, share and comment to motivate me to continue creating contents. So today's topic is loading techniques. Under this, we are going to dive into loading techniques in Angular covering the different types of loading. Loading plays a very important role in Angular. If you are working on a module based Angular application, you need to load the module lazily to increase the application performance. Similarly, if you are working on a standalone component, instead of the module, you need to load the component lazily in order to increase the application performance. And there are three types of loading techniques in Angular, eager loading, lazy loading and preloading. Eager loading involves loading all modules or components upfront when the application starts. And this is the default loading strategy. Next, lazy loading. Lazy loading loads modules or components on demand as per the user navigates through the application. And this approach helps to start the application faster. Last, preloading. Preloading is a hybrid approach that combines eager and lazy loading. It loads critical components upfront and preloads other components in the background, making them available when needed. This technique offers a balance between initial load times and navigation performance. Now, let's jump into the Visual Studio Code Editor. And since we are working on a standalone component application, we don't have the app routing.module.ts file. So, let's open the app.routes.ts file where we have configured all the routes. Inside this file, we have provided the path name and respective component name for each component. And this syntax represents eager loading, where all components loaded upfront. It means that once the application loads on the browser, we can see all these components eagerly loaded. Let me run this project on localhost 4200 and I'll open the developer tool. And here, I'll navigate to the Sources tab. Under SRC, I'll expand this app folder. And as we can see, all the components listed here. If I refresh the page again, and as soon as the application starts on the browser, all components are loaded. But this eager loading approach is used for small size applications because components are loaded in the order we configured in the app.routes.ts file. As a result, all components and services will be loaded at the time of application load and that is the reason eager loading is suitable for small size applications. However, if you are working on a large scale application or dealing with a large amount of data, you should consider using lazy loading. For example, let's take a look at the profile component.ts file. As you can see here, inside get data method, we have fetched data from a dummy API endpoint. Here you can see the JSON placeholder API inside shared data.service.ts file. And now when I navigate to the profile component, it takes few seconds to load the data in the browser. As we can see here. And this can degrade application performance, making the application take longer to load in the browser. But we don't need the profile component to load immediately. We only need the login page to load initially, that is user component. So in this case, we can load the profile component lazily. So let's load the profile component lazily. And the syntax of lazy loading is, let me copy paste this line number 24 and comment out this eager loading syntax of profile component. And now let's load this profile component lazily. So for that, we need to provide the path name that is profile and next we need to write load component colon open and close round brackets and then arrow symbol and then import round bracket dot then round brackets now inside imports we need to provide the path of profile component i'll copy this path 
from the import statement and I'll paste it inside the imports within single code. After that dot then and here we need to declare local variable for component. I'll use C then arrow function and C dot profile component. So this is the syntax of lazy loading. And here if you are working on module based application or prior to Angular version 17 application, you will need to lazily load the module instead of the component. And the syntax is similar, but you will use the load children instead of load component. And you need to provide the module path inside the import statement, that's it. In order to load the module, we need to use load children. And in order to load the standalone component, we need to use load component. That is the only difference between lazy loading module and lazy loading component. Now, let me comment out these routes as of now and test this application on the browser. Now, I'll refresh the application and I'll go inside the app folder. And as we can see here, the profile component is not visible initially because we have loaded the profile component lazily. So it loads on demand. As soon as I navigate to the profile component, it will load on the browser as you can see here services profile and user before navigating to the user component we were saying only the user component but once i navigate to the profile component we can see profile component as well as user component loaded in the browser one more time i'll reload the browser on localhost 4200 now we can see only the user component loaded in the browser but once I navigate to the profile component, we can confirm that profile component loaded only when needed. So the benefits of lazy loading is lazy loading helps to start the application faster by loading only the necessary components at the initial load. And this approach reduces the bundle size and decreases the load time. And that is why lazy loading is suitable for big or complex applications. Now let's switch to the third type of loading called preloading. Preloading is the combination of eager loading and lazy loading. Like if you want to render the eagerly loaded components initially and lazily loaded components in the background, then you can choose the preloading strategy. And to implement preloading strategy, we need to go inside app.config.ps file and add with preloading function with parameter preload all modules to the provider's array after the route configuration and this will import from angular slash router package here you can see preload all modules as well as with preloading is imported from angular slash router package and that is all the coding part we need to do in order to work with preloading strategy now i'll go back to the browser and again, I'll reload the application on localhost 4200. And if I navigate to the app folder under SRC, we can see the user component as well as profile component. It means all components are loaded at the time of application start. We have lazily loaded profile component and eagerly loaded the user component. But both components are loaded once our application loads on the browser. So the preloading strategy is suitable for medium sized application. It's similar to lazy loading, but with the added benefit of specifying a preloading strategy. And with this, we have covered the three types of loading techniques in Angular, eager loading, lazy loading and preloading. We demonstrated each techniques and discussed their suitability for different application sizes. Hope you understand this. So that's all for now. And we will meet again in the next video. Until then, keep visiting and keep learning. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to FAD Learning to get notification about future videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.